That ain't the whole reason. Because guys don't know how to get women to respect them. Mm-hmm. And so they go to these foreign countries, Brazil, Colombia, all these other countries where women are quote unquote more feminine, right? Yeah. Because they can't get the American women to respect them. Mm-hmm. And so they want to run to those countries because they those women are quote unquote supposed to be, I have no idea, supposed to be more submissive. But at the end of the day, if you can't make a woman submit over here, mm. then going over there, you ain't going to make a woman to be able to submit over there Facts. either. At the end of the day, women don't respect number one thing, the fact that you can walk away. That's the only thing women respect. Bam. And so if she likes you enough and you got the balls enough to walk away, she's not cooperating, but guys can't do that. Guys be like, I'm leaving. They turn around, see that ass? Uh, you know what? Let's work it out. And, and then, <laughs> therein lies the problem. You mm-hmm. can't do that. See, I can walk away. I've had some hot chicks and I can walk away. And if you walk away, by and large, and you're worth something, that woman's going to call you in one or two weeks. And you know what time it is when she calls you back. Mm. I mean, do I got to say it? It's a whole lot of dick. A whole lot of dick. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We have come to come on. Yeah, guys, niggas, come on over to YouTube. <laughs> uh, we're gonna kill the Twitch and the Twitter stream and the Facebook stream. So come on over to YouTube right now. Fresh and fit, guys, search it. Fresh and fit <laughs> on YouTube. We're gonna have to go on Twitter and everywhere else. <laughs> so AMS, mm-hmm. yeah. I have a question for you, brother. Mm-hmm. And this is like you can answer how you want to answer mm-hmm. or don't answer it. Right. Just your opinion. Mm-hmm. Tell us one thing you've learned that most other coaches get wrong. Mm-hmm. One thing you've learned as well that most people do get right. Hmm. Say that one more time again. Like the, the biggest issue mm. that you mm. see, that like coaches talk about, where, for example, mm. they say, oh, guys should do this, but it's completely wrong. Right. And then one instance where they say, you know what, this is right, and it is actually right. Okay. Oh, within dating. But yeah. Yes. Okay. Within the matters, yeah. so to speak. Okay. okay. Well, yeah. I don't believe that I can teach you lines or something to say to get a woman. Mm. I, I don't believe I can give you conversation skills. Mm. Your personality, just be yourself. So I, I, if you watch my videos, other than being a confident, I've never made no videos on something you can say to uh-huh. a woman on approach as in game. Right. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't believe that. I believe the attraction is there and he's either there or is not, not. And now your personality, just hold a normal conversation. It don't gotta be, you know, I, I don't, I don't buy that. And you know, no disrespect to mystery and all these other guys who talk that type of game and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I never bought it. Right. And so I to this day and, and, and a lot of dating coaches still believe in the quote unquote game. I still don't believe in it. I, I still don't believe in it. Right. I believe in being the best version of yourself <clears throat> and you make enough approaches, you approach enough women. If, Listen, I don't care if you no, listen. I'm gonna be honest right now, and this it's just a matter of the volume and your, your your uh your rate of what you get, right? Yeah. But even if you're a 300 pound guy and you make 15k, you make 100 approaches, you're gonna get something eventually. That's true. But if you was if you was 10 body fat and you make 300k, you're gonna have a higher percentage in there. So conversion you if rate. you approach a yeah, conversion rate, you're gonna if you if you that guy you approach 100 women, you might get uh 50, opposed to the fat guy, he might get 10. But the point is, if you make enough approaches, somebody's going to like you for you. Because I'm going to tell you what I've seen from women. Mm-hmm. If I've dealt with enough pretty guys, i dealt with enough rich guys, assholes, mm-hmm. maybe I'm open-minded to this guy. For who a change. I, for a change. True. Well, yep. Maybe if I, you know, maybe I just had this pretty boy who was, a, you know, treating me bad. And here you come approach me. And now I want to try something different. different. I done dealt with enough rich guys who didn't treat me right, then cheated on me. So now I'm open-minded to talking to the average guy. Mm-hmm. You, but the, the point of me saying to get the best version of yourself is you still going to have a higher conversion rate. But you still could get anything no matter what you look like. And I firmly believe that because I was, y'all know I was 350 pounds. And yeah. I still was banging hot chicks. I remember uh, working in the gym in Alabama. Not working in the gym. Uh, just going to the gym. And I was over 300 pounds. The front desk worker. All these guys in the gym want her. I'm over 300 pounds. I'm living with my sister. <laughs> I'm, I'm dead say I'm living with my sister. Wow. And I got her. And my brother said, all them guys know, why she pick you? And I was like, oh, man, you know I got game. And he said, that ain't what it is, bro. She just like you. She just like you. And, you know, I thought about it, and I said he's right. Because in that gym, you had successful, ripped, jacked guys mm-hmm. who had nice cars out there and everything. 
But she, like you said, you just she just like me. Yeah. Even though I was, she was coming over to my house at my sister's house, sleeping in my nephew room. <laughs> I'm, I'm dead serious. Oh, cool. I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. So the point being, no matter what you look like, if you if you approach enough women, you will get some. So yeah, that's why thanks. I haven't. I don't buy into. I don't buy into the quote unquote game as in conversation. I love what you just said. I look at it as you're a fisherman, right? Mm-hmm. Let's say, for example, you're 300 pounds, mm-hmm. not in shape, mm-hmm. not successful, right? But you have a net. Mm-hmm. Eventually, it might be a small net. Mm-hmm. You may catch a few fish. Mm-hmm. But if you're, like you said, 10% body fat, mm-hmm. you're successful, you're good looking, mm-hmm. guess what? Mm-hmm. That big net that you have as a fisherman will catch way more fish. Right. So you're right, bro. Right. Yeah. Yeah, because, um, and I think this goes to show the importance as to why you need to work volume as a guy, right? Because mm-hmm. so many guys... They're going back to the beginning of our conversation, they rely too heavily on dating apps. Right, right. right? They're not going I, out I, and talking to girls. Go ahead. I asked you the last question. The number one thing, that last part when you said uh, what they do get right yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. is the confidence. Okay. I, I, I definitely get them there. I just don't believe in where they say it all the time comes from. Mm. But I, I think, and you know, even to make those appro- approaches, that's confidence. Yeah. So I, when, when number one thing you'll see dating coaches always say is about confidence, confidence, confidence. Yeah. And that I think they get right. I agree with them on that. But I just think that telling a guy to snap his fingers and be confident is not being genuine. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it's very difficult. You know, and the other reason, too, why it's an issue is because, you know, women are very good at uh, finding inconsistencies in your congruency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what I mean by that is if you purport yourself to be a certain type of person, right, let's Mm -hmm. say you're confident on that first date Mm -hmm. and then she sees you more and more and you haven't really accomplished anything. Well, at some point. She's gonna to start to see chinks in the armor. Right. She's gonna to start to see that you're that you're you're capping. You're not you're 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 faking it, right? Right. And then when a girl finds out naturally that you're a fraud, well, she's gonna lose the attraction for you at a way higher rate now because she's like, whoa, you fucking you know duped me. You you deceived my hypergamy, and that turns women off immediately. That's why like when you when when you're not congruent. It turns girls off so fucking much. Hey, miss, but can you talk about sleaze ball game? We want <laughs> the chains and the okay. rims. Let, let me say what you just said. That's where the testing comes in at. Yeah, Bam. that's that's where the testing comes in at. Yeah. So like when they see chinks in the armor, mm-hmm. that's 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 what that's when I test you and and I pull back mm-hmm. or you know I be more difficult to see how you handle it. Mm-hmm. So that's where the testing comes in at. Yeah. So fake it till you make it. Mm-hmm. I, know, I remember mm-hmm. you spoke about mm-hmm. your videos. You said, for example, mm-hmm. back in the day you had like a gold chain. Yeah. You had some rims on the car. Yeah. yeah. You pull it to the spot. Yeah. You get a chick's phone number. Smash and they'd be like, all right, I'm out. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so guys say all the time, should I pick it till I make it? What's your thoughts on that? Well, when I first hit YouTube, I I, I promoted that, right? <laughs> but see, the, the thing is, it man, works. It works though. It but works. The, the thing with the guys is, delayed, it does. Yeah. But the thing with guys is, they run shit and and then they don't never really do the work. <laughs> <laughs> so then we be 50 years old and you still around here faking. <laughs> faking supposed to be for three months until you get to where we're going. Then 30 years later, your ass still around here talking about faking it. So that's that's why I don't stop because yeah. guys want to do faking for our damn. You still faking it. Yeah. I said so if you if you remember like I don't even think it was a year about a year in I pivoted. And I I don't say that no more because these motherfuckers will be faking it to the day they die. Yeah. When we gonna do some work? How long are we gonna fake it? You know right. what I'm saying? So that's why I stopped saying that. Because we had a call in show. The guy was like, "Yo, fresh and Myron, should I fake it till I make it?" I was like, "Yeah, bro, you can do it for a period of time, right. but not forever because you, you should actually make it eventually. If not, you're gonna be worthless." Well, see, it, it, also another thing is if if you don't say you got no money, right? Mm-hmm. So a lot of these girls. I just told you about the successful ones. Let's talk about the ones who found out I was a big fat fraud. Let's let's get into them. Let's <laughs> yeah, talk about let's the girl. Yeah. yeah, let's talk about the girl who called me and said, "Hey, you got a hundred dollars for this and other." And I'm like, "Oh, what a hundred dollars? I thought you were bowling." <laughs> so you are gonna have girls who gonna call you on it? Yeah, right? you'll have girls if you got it like they'll say that they want to go to the nicest restaurant in town. If you got it like you, that should be nothing, right? But well, you ain't got it like that. So you are gonna have the the women out here. You gonna lose ass because if you really would have had it like that, you would have been cool. But since you're a fucking fraud, you gonna lose <laughs> ass. So the point being is, get yourself to a position mm-hmm. to where all those women who are looking for beta male providers, you can close on them, mm. and not the ones who gonna call you out, call you, find out that you're a fake. You ain't gonna get nothing. Yeah, and and I think another thing too that guys need to understand, and I've talked about this with Fresh, is that. Beta male providers get girls too. Facts. I, I would argue a lot of these, you know, the beta male provider mm-hmm. game, right? Mm-hmm. Is a lot of the times they'll take g- girls from you as a guy that would be quote unquote alpha mm-hmm. a lot of the times because they're able to provide something that you typically want, which is what security. Right. Can you talk about that a little bit? Uh, well, that's the thing. Uh, it. I, I want you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I want first. you guys to fuck the women. Who view you as an alpha male? <laughs> but we're gonna fuck them beta male providers too, right? <laughs> right, right, right? We're gonna fuck them too, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, here's the thing, guys. <laughs> now, here's the thing. I, no, I'm, finished, I'm finished tell some real shit now. Yeah. Even if you're a guy 
and you successful, right? Yeah. Say, Myron, y'all successful. We got the Lambo, this, that, and other. So you got different levels of providing now. Mm-hmm. Like, even we, even though we're successful guys, we still frauds. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm being real. Well, we still frauds. I see where he's going. I see where he's going. Right, right. We still frauds, right? Yeah. Because if a girl calls us and like, hey, you got 1500 I want you're going to be like, bitch, please. <laughs> <laughs> now, if, you're, if you're a nope. true beta male provider, you'll yeah. be like, come get my credit card. Or I cash app you the money. Yeah. Right? right? So right. even though we really are successful, we still cheat. Fraud motherfucker, right? We, should, we ain't genius. So the point being is, the point being is, even if you really do got some money, mm-hmm. a dude who's really is a provider, I'm talking yeah. about a dude that what well, that that I don't want to say I don't because he only he, the guy who was on time was a cash app or some money. What he was the pastor guy? I can't remember. Probably the guy. He, he was on. Done, I don't want to talk. I don't, uh, uh, pa- uh, uh. Oh. uh but, um, Somebody was saying no. Most saying no. Okay, I, I I think I know who who, who he's. Let me. He was, was, to he was making a video talking about something. He was worse than he was worse than. Uh, I don't want to say a dive either, but I don't want to. Pop that nigga. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh, the uh, one that says, "Yo, wake up and cash yeah, out." Yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, yeah. Pass the poppy. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the check. I said that you had it. So you all gonna have the real providers. So 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 like even though we're successful. We still frauds, right? We just like we want to have a nice car, nice clothes, but bitch, I ain't giving you shit. But <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, you go to a nice restaurant, like I buy you a, a pasta bowl, but yeah, we no, I ain't giving you, know you, you shit. Know, you know what we do? Hmm? We sell a lifestyle, <laughs> yeah, and they come into the frame, right? You know, we show them around a little bit, right. and then oh, I need a favor. Oh, it's time, time to go, sweetheart. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I gotta go. Saying. So yeah. we still 